Said there's a light in my life shining over me. My name is Jeffrey Carraway. Uh, I'm a native Mithian, uh, born and bred, raised here. I had my own home improvement business for over 30 something years. Uh, but I got sick, I uh, developed cancer, and, uh, and it, it sickened my body real bad, and I couldn't work anymore. So therefore, I was put out of my, out of my home. I lost my home, I was put out of my home, and I became homeless, and my situation with my physical being got, you know, it worsened. Therefore, you know, I wound up staying in a shelter. An individual uh, told me about the, uh, the HUB, and uh, how they help people, you know, that were going through having the same problems and situations that I was dealing with, you know, and so I inquired, you know, and they found a place for me. Before uh, the hub uh, uh, got this apartment for me, I was homeless uh, right at a little over two years, say maybe about 26 months, something like that. But I'm pretty sure, in fact, I have some associates you know, that's been homeless, you know, 10, 15 years and maybe longer, you know, and, and, and know other people that, you know, have had good jobs, you know, and, and you know, and had their own home and, you know, and living life, you know, and enjoying life, you know, and now, you know, due to that situation, they found themselves just merely existing. From the beginning, I had my own home improvement business, you know, and stayed busy, plenty of work, you know. Um, I was able to, you know, to keep a roof over my head, you know, and shoes on my feet, clothes on my back, you know, and, you know, food on my table and things of that nature, you know, the necessities of everyday life. So when the sickness hit, the cancer hit me, then that, that bit, I lost a lot of weight, which I'd never been, you know, uh, you know, too much in size, you know, in structure anyway, you know. But if I may say so myself, I believe I carried well. But anyway, <laughs> you know, but anyway, you know, it was, like I say, it was due to my illness, you know, and I couldn't work anymore. You know, they said, they said that, you know, when your money's gone, so are your friends, your so-called friends anyway. Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it weird with you. Uh, there's no pleasure in it. You know, you always, you can't help from dwelling on your situation, especially if you're homeless and you're unemployed, whatever reason it might be, to not have shelter, the proper shelter, to be able to provide for your needs and things that, that it takes to live in society, just in life in general, every day, you know, such as being able to bathe, you know, and watch television or go in the kitchen and fix you something to eat and things of that nature, just regular common things that everyday people do. To not be fortunate enough or able to do that is very strenuous. And then not having anywhere to lay your head at night, you know, uh, to rest, you know, when you get tired. Uh, having to be out in the, in the elements of the world, meaning the rain, the cold, the heat, you know, and not having your own place to go to. You know, I thank God for the churches in Memphis and well all around the world and the HUB situation that, you know, that lends a hand, you know, that shows that, you know, that people still care, you know, about people that, you know, when they fall short, you know, of their responsibilities, whether, you know, regardless of what it may be. You know, I myself am truly grateful and I like to encourage others, you know, to just reach out, you know, uh, talk to somebody, you know, and address your issue. There are places out here that will help you you know, as long as you strive, continue to strive and just not give up. Because if you accept what you have, then that's all you're going to have. But if you keep climbing and reaching and praying as well, then there's always a way out.